Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. Today, I wanna to talk with you about oil. Not just any oil, supercharger oil. And the oil that is in your Gen 3R when we ship it to you. So this is a common question that we get. Uh, does my supercharger have oil? Do I need to add oil? How much oil does the supercharger take? Uh, is there enough oil in the supercharger? These are all, all things that we get through our various uh, support lines, um, even to sometimes to me directly. And it's a very, very important question because uh, as we know, mechanical things without oil tend to grind to a screeching halt. That would be bad. We never want that to happen to your supercharger. So let's talk about oil. As I look at this Gen 3R that is on the table in front of me, I notice a couple of things. And wait, 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 this is important to the story. There are little marks on every other mounting foot where the supercharger was clamped down to a test bench and spun over 10,000 RPM. Okay, let me tell you why this is really important to me. The supercharger was spun before it ever left the factory at Magnuson Superchargers in Ventura, California, where it is made. And to be spun on the test stand, it had to have oil in it. Filling the supercharger up with oil is an integral part of Magnuson's very detailed certified assembly process. Yes, Magnuson actually holds certifications for assembling automotive parts for use by major OEMs such as Toyota, Chevrolet, Audi. So your Gen 3R is no different, it goes down the same assembly line, as does an Odin or a Terminator blower, which you may also buy from VMP and is made by Magnuson Superchargers. So let's get into the nuts and bolts of this. You know the background now. What is the oil? Where does the oil live? How do you check the oil? Those are probably all the questions that are going through your head. These are the rotors right here. These are the timing gears inside the front nose drive, and this is where the oil lives there is going to be a reservoir of oil down here inside this gear case. And when your supercharger spins, that oil is gonna get all flung around. That's gonna coat these gears. It's actually gonna flow into the bearings that are behind these gears. You can't see them right now, but there's a set of bearings in this rotor plate and they are sealed on the air side and they are open on the gear case side. Same thing over here, there's actually a bearing um, right about here inside the nose drive and of course there's another sealed bearing up here but all of those are going to get an oil bath lubrication this is not just any oil it is special supercharger oil as you can see it's almost clear it's very very light it is called nye 605 now you can get this oil from vmp or you can go to your local Ford or Chevy dealer and see if they have supercharger oil in stock if you're in a pinch. Not only is the type of oil very important, the amount of oil is incredibly important as well. VMP Gen 3Rs come factory filled with 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters of oil. We supply oil in four ounce bottles. And let me tell you, we don't wanna shortchange anybody. There's just a little bit more than four ounces in here. That is in case you spill any during the fill process. You'll still have enough if you lose a couple drops or even maybe a small puddle. The oil level inside the supercharger is incredibly important because you can overfill the supercharger if you really try. I actually went out to the shop and I kept pouring oil in here till it spilled out. That's all bad, never do that. One of the common questions we get, and I think this is what leads people to ask this question, they open the fill plug on their supercharger and they look around in there and they don't see any oil. The supercharger only needs about 3.4 ounces of oil. This whole cavity here is pretty darn big. If you're ever curious or concerned about the oil level inside your supercharger, we recommend you take a dipstick. I made one here out of a zip tie, wrapped it with some blue tape so there's a little better contrast. And you stick it in here. There's actually a gear right behind here as I was showing you earlier. Once you get it far enough down there, you will find some oil. You're not gonna find a whole lot of oil inside the supercharger just because the 3.4 ounces of oil only sits about down here on the supercharger itself. In testing, we found that less oil is actually better. The 
airspace in here allows room for expansion that occurs when the supercharger is under a lot of load, high RPM, high boost. So you actually want to give the oil some room to slosh around inside of there and some room to grow when there's a lot of heat produced. And that we have found actually leads to better supercharger durability. So don't ever try to put too much oil in there. Let me tell you something. The original VMP Gen 3 superchargers and Gen 2 and Gen 2R superchargers, they came with six ounces of oil. And then that went down to about five and a half ounces. So if you do manage to overfill your supercharger a little bit, not a problem. Don't sweat over it. However, never try to fill it to the top or the fill hole or even worse, we had one person stand the supercharger up and fill it up with oil till it came out. That's a bad, bad day. Um, it actually boiled the whole front nose drive and everything. And uh, that was uh, the end of that supercharger. You're gonna have a bad time. A lot of what I'm talking about is in reference to a brand new supercharger. Yes, they come filled with oil. They're all spin tested before they leave the factory. If you need to check the oil, here's how you do it. What if you need to replace your oil? Well, we do sell replacement supercharger oil and it is possible to drain the oil out. The best way to do that is to remove these six bolts, put a plastic bag under the nose drive and just pop it off, catch the oil, clean everything out with carb cleaner. I usually just spray them off here and here and then bolt them back together. These six bolts need to have a dab of Loctite on them. They need to be torqued to about 15 to 20 foot pounds. In the case of the Gen 3R supercharger, an O-ring is used to seal it to the rotor plate so there is no anaerobic sealant necessary. If you've got one of our older Gen 3 or Gen 2R superchargers, you do need to use some anaerobic sealant. That sealant does need a little bit of heat to set up, so don't fill your supercharger up with oil and go blasting down the road because that, that is a guaranteed way to have your anaerobic sealant blow out and uh, cause an oil leak. I hope you learned a lot about the oil that is inside your VMP Gen 3 R supercharger. Everything I've told you here applies to the Odin supercharger as well. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.